Ah, yes, another video. Because mm. I totally know what I'm talking about. Honestly, it takes a bit of work to get these things together. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a challenge sometimes. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how to put together a TED Talk style presentation and capture it so that you can share your expertise with the world. So stay tuned. What's going on? It's Mark with Echelon Media, helping you elevate your story. And welcome to another episode of the Echelon Broadcast. As I mentioned before, today we're going to talk about how to create a TED Talk style presentation and capture it on video so that you can present it and share your expertise with the world. But before we get going, if you happen to watch these videos on a pretty consistent basis, isn't it about time that you subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to date with this stuff every week as I drop these videos? So before I continue, I just want to let you know that this video is going to be a little bit advanced. And if you're not all that comfortable in front of a crowd, let alone in front of a camera, there is a video I put together about how to be confident in front of a camera. Go ahead and check that out. I'll make sure to leave a link up in the card above. Now, moving forward, we're all familiar with TED Talk style videos, and we've seen a couple of them. And every time I've watched them, it always gives me a sense that I'm part of something bigger because it almost feels like I'm sitting there as a part of the crowd. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Oh my God. That makes so much sense. And that, oh my God, this guy, whoever he is, is a genius. See what I mean? Also, watching these videos not only gives us a sense of being a part of something, it also gives us a feeling that whoever is speaking in front of this audience, as well as being captured on video, obviously must be an expert in their field because who else would be in front of this group of people, as well as being shared with millions of people on the internet. So it tends to give us all a feeling that this guy must be some kind of a, of a whiz. He's probably some kind of an expert. And so I realized that one of the best ways that you can actually use videos to share your expertise is to get in front of a group of people and share your knowledge with them, as well as capture it on video. So the magic behind these TED Talks is that they're leveraging the sociocultural phenomenon called social proof. What that basically means is that for any time that you ever go to a website and see a picture of an old grandma and a quote of how satisfied she was with a uh, chiropractor's services, or if you happen to be watching a dad on TV talking about how happy he was with the insurance company that helped him and his family get through a tough time after a big natural disaster, that is leveraging social proof. And so we're going to break down a few ways you can make the most out of this phenomenon called social proof. So how do you go about doing this? The way I thought about it as a good example is if you happen to be a doctor, a dentist, a massage therapist, or anything like that, you go into a decent sized business that's got a good amount of employees in it and ask for maybe 15 minutes of their time and say, hey, I'm gonna give this presentation on corporate wellness and I'd love to record it so that you can use it for reference for those people that happen to miss this presentation and I could use it for my own personal reference because I'm developing as a speaker. Now the next step in order to actually capture this footage is to make sure that you are seen. And by that I mean use a camera. You don't have to go and do anything fancy. You can just use your camera phone so that you capture the whole scene. Make sure that when you do set this up, you might have to go get a tripod to capture it on your phone and make sure that you're far enough back so that you can get to see yourself at the front of the crowd as well as capture a good chunk of the crowd. So you don't necessarily want to be way in the back of the room, but you want to get just about, let's say if it was at an angle, say if you were, if I was in the front of the room, there'd be at least two, maybe three people right there immediately in front of me and then maybe another two and maybe another two behind them. So that you get a good feeling that I'm talking to an audience. And then the next step is to make sure that you're heard. None of this is any good if people can't hear you talking about what it is that you happen to be talking about. So you want to make sure that it's far enough back that you get a good chunk of the audience, but you either want to project so that your voice can be heard on the phone, and you might want to test that out a couple of times before you actually get going on this talk, or you want to actually bring some kind of a recorder with you. I'll make sure to leave a link to a digital recorder that I found on Amazon. Now, just to let you know, I've not had any experience with this. Or if you want to get a little bit fancy, there's also a wireless lapel system that you can buy. It's fairly inexpensive. It's like $70 and it's something that you can use if you're really serious about this so that you don't have to go and take the time to actually sync up the audio and sync up the videos after the fact. But if you want to continue, I'm going to expand a little more on those three points. But before I do, I want to make sure that if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, go ahead and give it a thumbs up 
so that you can show me whether or not any of this stuff is clicking and it's actually good information. And also go ahead and subscribe to the Echelon Media channel. Make sure you hit that little notification bell next to the subscription button so that you're up to date on whenever it is that I drop these videos every single week. And of course, if you happen to want to talk to me or if you have any questions, ideas, or thoughts that you want to share, leave those down below in the comment section so that we can get a little bit of a conversation going. So now to expand a little more on these main points. The first one was actually creating the circumstances. It was actually creating a, uh, an environment for you to have these conversations. Like I said before, if you happen to be a specialist in the medical field, Pick a point that people can take away, take home with them and use. Don't just talk about your business and the stuff that you offer. You actually want to provide value to the business that you, you're talking at because you're asking for 15 minutes out of the day, let alone you might be asking for to borrow the time of their, their technicians and their employees. So you want to make sure that you make the best of those 15 minutes if you have to ask. Now, 15 minutes is just an easy number that I've set. And that may be also easy for someone who's just getting into this because you're not super comfortable with talking. So 15 minutes is a good way to kind of get warmed up to the crowd, get a little bit of a conversation going and then and then wrap it up maybe in, in 10 minutes and then give about five minutes for questions at the end. That's just a loose structure. However you wanna do it is completely up to you. The point is you wanna deliver some sort of usable value for people to take home with them rather than just you talking about how awesome your business is because nobody really wants to hear about that especially if you're just starting out and nobody knows you and after the fact since the point of this is to actually record it make sure that you share this video and if the company is willing to do it go ahead and tag them in that video wherever you happen to post it so the next step that i mentioned was to be seen and that's to actually record with your phone camera the reason why i say this is because while you can certainly go out and buy a nicer camera, and I think most people have at least one digital camera in their life, um, if not, kudos on you, it's not a necessity, you can absolutely make the most out of your camera phone because nowadays, most high-end camera phones, even some lower-end ones that aren't necessarily the more well-known brands or models, have 4K in them. So if you decided to record in 4K on your phone, it's gonna be exceptional anyway. And so there's really no point in, and, and this is coming from myself, who's a geek when it comes to cameras and things of that nature. There's really no point to owning a fancier camera just to get started. Now down the road, you can get a fancy camera, you can learn all of that, or you can even go ahead and hire a professional videographer but I just don't feel it's necessary, especially if you're just starting to develop the skill around public speaking and capturing what you know and your expertise on video. It just becomes another hurdle for you to keep from actually doing it. Um, but if you happen to want to go ahead and try the camera route, if you feel like you're confident enough to get that going, I'll actually go ahead and link the camera that I personally use, but I'll make sure to link the newer version of what I use. I use the uh, Canon. <clears throat> what I use is the Canon 6D Mark I. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link the 6D Mark II, which is the newer version, and that's because it actually has a uh, facial tracking feature that allows for the focus to stay on your face if you're, the, if you're the speaker. And now for the next point is to be heard. Obviously, being seen is a good part of it, but in any given story, if I can't hear you, I'm going to very quickly tune out because I don't know what the hell it is that you're talking about. So make sure that you're actually heard when you're putting together these videos. As I mentioned before, you can set your camera phone or camera far enough back so that you can get a good chunk of the crowd in the scene so that the crowd is actually seen to make the most of the social proof concept, but also close enough where either the mic on your phone can capture what you're saying or I'll leave an Amazon link to a digital recorder down below that you can use if you wanna go ahead and try to sync the audio after the fact with your video. Or if you don't wanna go that route and you're really determined on getting some better audio, you can actually get a wireless lavalier or lapel mic system. I've left one down below. Add an Amazon link to the Movo U mic system. It's super inexpensive, it's like $70. Most systems tend to be at least $100 or more for something like this. So it's actually really good that you can use this for what you're doing to capture the audio and not have to bother with syncing the audio after the fact, especially if your time is precious and you don't have much time to do all that. It'll take a little bit of time to learn the setup of all of it, but beyond that, it should be pretty straightforward. 
absolutely focus on being heard. I mean, the quality of the video could be lousy. The lighting may not be the, be all that great. <clears throat> but if you can be heard, then it'll, it'll be just fine. It'll work out just fine. Now that we've gone deeper and broken down the steps to create a TED Talk style presentation and capture it on video so that you can present your expertise, you need to go ahead and apply this because none of this information is any good unless you actually make a use of it. I want to see if you'll actually try it. So go ahead and try it and leave a comment down below and say, yes, I'm going to do this and come back after the fact and let me know how well it went. Let me know if there were any questions whatsoever on the whole process. Let me know about the challenges that you ran into trying to coordinate a talk with a small local business, or if you had any questions about the camera situation, or if you have any thoughts, if you had any suggestions, or if you just didn't understand what you needed to do as far as the audio goes. Either way, I want to have that conversation started and I actually want to make sure that you apply this information into what it is that you're doing. I hope this info has been useful. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure that you give it a thumbs up so that I know if you're super into this info so that I can keep making more of this down the road. Also, if you have any thoughts or if you have any questions or anything like that, by all means, leave them down below in the comment section so that we can actually start that conversation. Um, and also, if you like this and you like the videos that I've been posting that are geared around helping you and other small businesses leverage video for use in the social media, go ahead and subscribe and make sure that you click on that little notification bell next to subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with it as it comes out every week. All that stuff aside, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know you could be doing anything else, but I appreciate you being here to share some of this information and hopefully you can apply it in your own business. This has been the Echelon Broadcast. My name is Mark with Echelon Media, helping you elevate your story. Peace out, and I'll see you.